This video is brought to you by iX Systems. Interested in a more interactive learning experience? iX Systems is offering professional freelance training. Also available is a free hour-long introduction class. Find out how you can register for the classes in the description below. In this tutorial, we will go over the permissions associated with sharing in FreeNAS Line 3. All volumes and datasets contain permissions that you can assign to a certain user or group. These permissions are set after creating a dataset and clicking the Change Permissions button on the bottom menu of the Volume Manager. The permissions you set will be interpreted by the client when they connect to your dataset through a designated sharing protocol such as SIFS, AFP, NFS, or WebDAV. While Share gives you network access to a specific volume or dataset, the Share's permissions dictate what users have read and write access to the files and directories on the Share. First, let's talk about the different types of groups that these permissions will be applied to. Owner is the assigned user that will have full read and write access to the dataset. You should give the owner full permissions. Group For group, users other than the owner who should have access to the dataset are in this category. A certain group is assigned the permissions you granted. Any user in that group will inherit those permissions. So if you access your share with that user, those permissions will be applied. Other. Other or everyone. No username or password is needed. Anyone that can connect to your share will only have read permissions. There are three different permissions properties you can give a user. Read, write, or execute. Read. Enabling this will allow users to view your files, copy, and access them. A user with read-only access cannot modify them, however. Write. Enabling this will allow users to modify or make changes to your files, as well as create a new file or delete a file. Execute. Enabling this will allow users to run the file as a program, as well as allow directory searching. On your dataset, depending on which permission type you choose, you can modify it through FreeNAS. Choosing Unix or Mac will allow you to change it directly through the graphic user interface. For Windows, you do not need to adjust these permissions. As long as you set your user or group to have access to your dataset, they will be given full read and write permissions. You will be able to adjust the permissions to Windows Explorer. We will talk about that in a minute. Let's create a user. This will be how we assign permissions for specific users for when they access your dataset. Go to account on the left side or top menu, then choose add users under users. Give it a username, I'll call this FreeNASMAN. Check the box, create a new primary group for the user if you want to create a group with it. You will want to create a group if you want to give designated users the same permissions. So when you assign a dataset for that group, all users under that group will inherit those permissions. You will be able to log in with that user. When you create a new user, click the primary group drop down and choose the group you will have created. You can choose a home directory, which will create a folder for your username on the volume. Go ahead and enter a full name and password. Click OK to create your user. Assuming you already have a volume configured, let's try out some permission settings. You do not have to set permissions on your volume unless you plan on sharing it. You will be configuring permissions for datasets within the volume. These you will allow users to access and therefore modify or read files. Let's go ahead and create a dataset. In this example, we will create a Windows one. Select the volume and click create dataset on the bottom menu. Give your dataset a name, I'll call this one your window set. Choose the share type as Windows. Click on Advance if you want to give your dataset a certain quota, such as 1 gigabyte. Then click Add Dataset when done. Select your dataset and click Permissions on the bottom menu. Change the user slash group to the user you created earlier, which was FreeNASMAN. Your default permissions will be given full read and write access to the owner and group. Everyone is only allowed read access. Note that these permissions are grayed out as there is no direct mapping, 
Unix permissions will be irrelevant here. You will be able to adjust the permissions through Windows Explorer. Make sure your permission type is already set to Windows. Set permissions recursively will apply your permissions to any old folder since you created the dataset. And click change when done. Let's create a share and access it from Windows. On the top menu or left hand side, click sharing, Windows SIF shares, add Windows SIF share. Browse to the path of the dataset you created earlier. Give the share a name. I'll call this window share. Leave the apply default permissions box checked so the owner and group will have full read and write access and other will have read only access. You can choose allow guest access if you want to allow access to read your files without logging in as a user. The guest falls under everyone in your permissions. They will not have write access if you set it that way. Click OK when done. Click yes to enable the service. It will take you to the services page. Make sure it says on next to SIFS. Once you have the share set up, access your share on your Windows Explorer by typing in backslash backslash followed by your FreeNAS IP address in your address bar. You can also type in your NetBIOS name resolution if on the same subnet. Mine is FreeNAS, which is default. You should see your share, which was Windows Share. Right click and click Map Network Drive. Check Connect using different credentials and click Finish. Enter the user and password of the user you created earlier and click OK. How to change permissions for a user. For this next step, I'll show you how to give a user full read and write permissions on Windows. On your Windows machine, assuming your Windows share has been mapped, right click properties your shared dataset. Click on the security tab and you will see options. Click edit to open a new dialog. Choose the user you created earlier. The following will be listed. Full control, modify, read and execute, list folder contents, read, write, special permissions. In this example, the user already has full read write permissions because I checked the apply default permissions box when creating the share. Now go ahead and give the designated user the permissions you need. To get the same permissions as root, check all the boxes under allow. Click OK, then OK when done. For both NFS and AFP shares, or Unix and OS X, you can set the permissions through the FreeNAS graphic user interface yourself. Click a dataset and choose change permissions. However, upon creating a dataset, choose Unix or Mac permission type. All environments can use SIFS or SMB. If sharing a file across different platforms, it is possible to use the same network sharing protocol. SIFS is strongly recommended if you plan to share with both Windows and Mac. If you create a dataset with Mac permissions type instead, you can adjust the permissions directly from the change permissions dialog. For Unix shares, you can change the permissions from the FreeNAS graphic user interface itself. Be sure to choose the Unix permissions type when creating your dataset. It is important to note that mounting an NFS share will only be available with root or a specific user, meaning no login function, so your files will be available to anyone that mounts your NFS share. See the FreeNAS shares video for more information. This tutorial on FreeNAS permissions has concluded. Stay tuned for the next one. This video was made possible by IX Systems, the sponsor and developer of the FreeNAS project. Many people have asked, how can they support the FreeNAS project? For those interested, we offer a wide range of storage products that leverage FreeNAS. For enterprise customers that need high availability and 24-7 support, we have TrueNAS. For business customers that need powerful and rock-solid FreeNAS storage, we offer FreeNAS Certified. For home and small office use, we offer the FreeNAS Mini. For more information, visit iXsystems.com storage.